you are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Thank you, Marshall. Owning a job. You know what? One of the things somebody has to really uh, take in consideration is when they get into business, do they own a business? You like the distinction, are they actually owning a business or are they owning a job? See, when you own, a, um, when you really own a business, right? Or maybe I should say, maybe uh, like a type of a system. That's when you have ownership over, there's a lot going on. Like say you own, uh, like say when you own, um, I don't know, a retail store, right? A little small retail store, maybe you sell t-shirts or athletic wear or whatever, right? You really own uh, more of a system there, right? And that's because there's more things going on. Right. And you don't actually have to be there to run it. You can hire you can own it and hire a manager. Uh, you can have someone deal with, um, you know, different parts in the business. You, you're managing several people. Right. But that, that's a separate category. But a lot of times when people own something or they become entrepreneurial, they really just own a job. I want you to think about that. You own a job. The only difference between owning a job and then working on a job is on a job, you typically have a boss and you always have a boss. You always, I don't care where you are at that job, regardless of which one, you have a boss, you have somebody that you answer to. I don't care what it is. Even um, ironically about that boss thing, sometimes even if you own a franchise or something, there's always somebody that you got to answer to, you know? You got uh, semi-autonomy. But owning a job is simply this. You have control over the services you provide. Like say you're an independent plumber. You know, you own that job. Like if it's just you. Like if you, you now if you got a whole system where, you know, you got trucks, you have employees, you have people to handle paperwork, um, uh, all of that, that's more of a system. But when you own a job, that means you're more or less a sole proprietor or a sole solo practitioner who you have the job, you own the job, and, you know, you just, your bosses kind of become, actually, your clients. So they need a job done. Say, uh, I've used massage therapy a lot, right? Um, say you, someone wants a massage done. You know, so they'll pay you directly. It's like you own that job. Now, this is not to say this is not something to say that's a bad thing. But just understand that, you know, understand it's not something that you can sit back and it runs on its own. Right. Like if you have a website or something, if you have a website or something that uh, sells stuff for you and delivers stuff for you, like you say you have ebooks or something, you have it set up so that it delivers the ebooks automatically or something. That's, you know, you own a system then. But, you know, you can kind of own a job with that too, really. You can, like, if you're in a place you got to mail stuff yourself. So that's kind of owning the job too. But the main owning a job is services or something. Like, if you're a painter, it could be anything. You're a painter, you're a cab driver, or you're independent, um, you know, you work for Uber. It's all. Oh, even though you're part of a system, you kind of own the job there, right? You know, when you uh, do gigs for people, like right now, you know, they uh, you have several websites that allow you to do different things for folks. you kind of owning that job. And like I said, it's not a bad thing. It's not, it's not a bad thing. You want to evolve beyond it, but it could be the, uh, it's actually kind of a good step. It's actually a good step from just having a job. It really is. Now, you work in a bit uh, harder, right? You work in a bit harder because, you know, it's not something you can just sit around. Like, if, let me use the massage example again. To really make some money, you're going to need 
maybe two or three massages a day. And, you know, that can, that can be a lot of wear and tear on you, right? That can be a lot of wear and tear. And you go on a hustle because you have to actually do the work yourself. You can't really send somebody else out to do it or anything like that. But it's a good practice. It's a good practice because it's a good step towards owning a whole system instead of, you you know, you just being a massage therapist, maybe owning a company or something, owning a spot where you have several and people coming in and stuff. And you don't own it. You can sit back. But the owning a job, it's uh, one thing to realize about it, though, because some people do that. And like I said, you're working harder. You're working harder. But it's worth it if you can build up something. Now, the only bad part about that, too, is you only have, only have so many hours in a day. That's the only bad part about it. You only have, depending on what the job is now, like if you're a barber or something, and you manage to have your own spot. And I've actually known a barber had a little small spot. People would come in. Yeah, you got more control over it. You could probably get a lot in, but then that's still a time thing. See, that's the only thing with it. It's... It takes up time. You like using the massage therapist thing. There's only so many hours in a day that you can actually devote to massaging different people. Right? You know, the only thing, and I'll get more into a system in another, in another uh, thing, in another uh, podcast. Right? Because a system, you don't have to be there. You just have to own it, and everybody else can run it. That's the only thing with. Uh, owning a job because you can't really call out like recently when I did uh, my last uh, you know I had my little vacation I didn't do any video someone would say well don't you own that but I was still making money because I had other videos everything else was still making money for me right everything else was doing it for me so I didn't have to like sit back and uh, you know worry about money coming in because I you know got a system in place but Owning a job, like I say, is a good start off. It's a, it's a good start off. Like if you have some type of service to offer, uh, you can do it. If you got the skills for it. One thing about it, since it tend to be more service orientated, you don't need a lot, a lot of money to get started. You typically don't. You know, all you need is the, just enough money, maybe to have some equipment or something to start off, and then start from there. You know, you could like if you're an independent painter or something, you might just need something to have. You you know, you need the money for the equipment, but you don't have to have a whole lot. You don't have to have a storefront. Uh, you don't have to have a huge investment. And one thing with the owning a job, a best way to work it, in my in my opinion, in my opinion, is to start off like providing the services, but then getting to the point where you have to hire somebody else to help. And you have to expand it, you know, take on an apprentice or a partner or something and then gradually expand it to the point where you you sitting back and now you own the system. You know, you you can have a bunch of other people go out and perform the massages, do the plumbing work, do the painting jobs or something like that. So it's a good um, it really is a good transition. It really is. It really is a good transition, not a bad thing at all. It is a step up from actually being on a job because you are your own boss. And you got to take the responsibility and it's a good training. So anyway, right, something to think about. Let's go make that money. <laughs>